Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Rome, and we're back with some more Rogue Trader. Now, we're going to see if I can get away with leaving my... Without having to play with headphones, I think my mic is directional enough that the moment is not picking up the speakers. So we're going to hit continue here. I was just getting my headset ready, my headphones ready, and discovered that maybe maybe I don't need them. We'll, we'll find out here in a second. So last time we, uh, we escaped from the system. We were off to the Furabunda system to go to Foothold, I believe, um, where we can land, we can get the ship repaired, uh, and we can start to check in with our own uh, empire, in theory, or at least that's the goal. Unfortunately, our ship was damaged. Uh, we had to use emergency uh, technique to get out. Um, and a, looks like our navigation system dumped all of its all of its information, or the majority of it anyway. So, uh, which we'll we'll see what happens here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Cronus map here. And we'll see what we got going on. We are trying standing again today because I've been sitting on my butt too long. Had to move the computer so we can get the cables to go where I need them to go. All right, Lord Captain. Uh, I'm going to report several ships moving towards us, judging by the fact they're not responding to our hails. And telemetry shows trail of macro batteries. They're not here for a chin wag. Ready to issue orders to prepare for battle at your command. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you mean? We just got here. He has no way to know that they're here. Um, could this be the work of Kunrod? Uh, possible. He might have hired some scum, or maybe it's just a pirate who saw the state of our ship and decided to push his luck. Um, all right, let's get ready. We could avoid it, but ship combat is one of those things I actually did really like in the first game. I, I think I'm in the minority on that, but uh, what I didn't like was the fact that our ship couldn't be upgraded, couldn't be modified really early on, so we quickly got to a point where um, we were outclassed. So we'll see how it looks now in the new system. How Okay, I, I think these are different the way that they show the the shields and the armor. Um, yep. Uh, battles in space. Yep, they're still turn turn based. Um, three zones: acceleration zone, mid movement zone, end movement zone. Okay. Uh, ships travel at high speeds, which is why both you and your ships can uh, move a certain distance per round. Uh, whoops, there's more there. You can you can only end your turn once your ship is traversed. So our ship has a certain amount of momentum and movement. We have to move at least that. We can slow down a little bit or speed up a little bit, but we have to move whatever we have to move. Um, you can't just stop. Um, on a dime because you're in space. Um, although I guess you could fire the retro rockets and overcome your inertia, whatever. But regardless, um, move the ship, light click. Uh, once you do, you see a hologram to evaluate the efficiency. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so this is our movement right here. So this is our mid, our, our initial, this is our mid, and that's our final. I would like to hit that dude. I would like to go full ramming on him um, so the question is, how do we do that? Because um, we do have a ram, right? We've got all our people here. Ship commander here. She's given us... Uh, I don't remember what she's given us, but... Um, we do have a ram. So the question is... So if I go to here... Let's go to here to start with. I'd like to move further than that, but I'm going to go to here. Well, let us move farther. Yeah. Uh, in terms of range, ship can attack each of its weapons... Per turn, these can be fired as the ship moves, as attacking does not. Exactly. So we can, we can as we rotate past, we can do a broadside and then continue on. Each of your ship's weapons has a separate attack icon on the panel at the bottom of the screen. With our firing arcs. Uh, each turn you can use each of the ship's weapons. Yeah, okay. However, I think we have a battering ram, which is what I would really like to do. Void ship ram. Ah, there we go. That's ultimately what I'm going to want. So I'm going to go, uh, let's go with our Mesozoic Lance here. All right, we took away part of his armor. Uh, ships are protected by shields. To deal damage, you must pierce the first pierce their shields. Two shield arrays cover the ship's sides. One protects its bow, one protects its stern. When facing an enemy ship equipped with shields, choose your angle of attack wisely and direct your fire at the side where the shields are weakened or completely depleted. Shields recover each round. Uh, likewise, protected by shields, if enemy attacks you from the side where shields are weakened, the ship will take damage. So you always want to make sure you're showing your good side, so to speak to the most dangerous enemies if you can. Damage shields do not recover. The flagship's damage shields do not recover at the start of the next turn. Instead, they can be restored by using the restart shields action at the panel at the bottom. Uh, restarting shields reduces the ship's combat efficiency on its next turn. It will have reduced movement speed and fire range. It takes energy to do it, I guess. All right, so we've got a Mars prow. We've got that. 
Everybody's going to be just out of range for that, but it looks like we can hit him with this. There we go. And then the dorsal mounted. And then we're going to ram him and finish him off. There we go. That's what... Oh, that was 63 damage. Now, we take a little bit from that. But it was worth it. We lost our front shield on that. I'm fine with that. Uh, and you are still out of range? Yeah. And so we will uh, end our turn, which I'm guessing is just space again. All right. We've got good shields around us, though. So remember, we lose our shields when we do a, when we do a, a ram. All right. He takes a couple shots at us. A couple more to the back there. Our shields are a little bit weaker. So we do have no rear firing arc, right? So nothing goes straight back. But what we could do, he's going this way. So what if we were to go... All right, I would like to go this way, but the thing is, that's going to leave the front of our ship here, where he can come by and potentially do a broadside on us. Um, I don't know that we're going to be able to spin tight enough to do restart shields. Maybe now's the time to restart shields. Um, what else we got? What's this? Uh, swing run. Make flies in straight you and making a full route. Ah, there we go. Let's try that. Okay, so let's go here. I might have been able to do it sooner. I don't know. Can I, can I not move any further? I think we just get to him. Uh, I don't think anything else is going to reach him. Nope, sorry. I'm going to restart my shields. And we'll end our turn. Oh, I have to... Um, I'm trying. It says I have to... Ship must reach one of its in-phase cells in order to turn. I'm going to go this way. There we go. I don't know why it wouldn't actually let me go to that, but we'll we'll live with that for now. That's going to leave our front protected for the moment. He's going to get some side shots, but our shields are going to restart at the end of our next turn. So that should fix that for us. You restarted your shields on your flagship to receive no damage. Perfect timing. All right. So I'm going to start with a port shot here. Nice. Then I'm going to go with the dorsal because we can get that thing up there. Couple big shots. Um, nothing else. I'm going to kind of spin this way. We can get around to our end here. And again, yeah, we're not going to be able to do much there. We'll end our turn. Okay. Each of these people, as we go, we're going to potentially get more stuff. Gives, let's see. We don't have torpedoes on the ship, so that doesn't help us. But each of these, as we get high enough skill levels, is going to start to give us that sort of thing. Um, I think we can probably come pretty close to finishing this guy off this turn. Almost. Are we going to get a dorsal shot on him? No. Um, what if we do this? Hold on. I guess I do have to go all the way to the end. It didn't look like it was going to go any further. And then I go straight. Then... Oh, I just missed. I should have turned a little bit. That's okay. This will this will leave us a better chase to, to chase him and destroy him. He's running. What if we go... Eh, we'll go here. I, mean, I was going to see... This, I think, will get us the lance. But I was going to see if maybe I get the lance earlier and then move up and get like a side shot into, into his missing shields. But I don't think it's going to matter. I think we got him regardless. Yep, we sure do. Got this. All right. We uh, won our first void combat. 
Enemy attacks can penetrate shields and damage your ship's hull. This damage remains in battle and must be repaired. Open the void ship management screen to make your repairs. Uh, use scrap to repair your ship and restore hull integrity. All right. We got some more ancient machinery out of it and some more scrap. And we'll go ahead and say OK. And our ship is halfway up to rank one. Very good. We'll, uh, we'll take a look at that here as soon as we can, which is right now, as it turns out. Um... I think we're in reasonable shape. So much scrap we have. Have we take? Oh, we, we took a little bit of damage. Um, how do we do a repair? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Hull repair. Yeah, it's going to take eight. Hull is repaired. All right. That still leaves us 44. Weapon. Other. We don't have any We don't have any gear to put in there yet, but at some point we will. I'm going to hang on, not upgrade those anymore. They're, they are where they are. Um, anyway, next time. We, so right now this gave us that U-turn uh, and our torpedo control. Next level we'll get uh, potentially a couple other things. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um... Unidentified object. I'm going to do a quick F5 here. Let's go ahead. We want to scan everything in this system. Uh, station's airlocks have been sealed from the inside. Vox recording stating that the priesthood of Alter Templum Calixus X-17 Sanctuary have no desire to communicate with the laity and are refusing to access guests on the basis of the Adeptus Mechanicus privilege of inviolability, granting them sole jurisdiction over their sacred sites. Okay. We can scan. Nothing. You scanned all worlds and reported them to the explorators. Did we? Did we? I don't know that we... Ex it gave us an achievement for that. But I don't think... I mean, I guess it's the only world, but I haven't told anybody about it yet, so... Um, I don't know. Oh, interesting. This is our uh, our coordinates on the on the grid there. Uh, we have the flagship Drusus' blessing with a small escort ahead. They're requesting direct Vox channel patching you through. Uh, Chartist Captain Aster... Austerius Thorfast. Greetings, Lord Captain. I am honored to speak with the rogue trader of House von Valencius. May your name be known through the ages. Chartist Captain Asterius Thorfast, bearer of the free charter of the merchant fleet. How can I be of service? Uh, what are you doing out here? Uh, we develop supply routes for Chartists. You see my ship as a representative of the merchant fleet in this part of Imperium territory. Yet we do not have a fixed charter to find trade route. Our mission is to establish business contacts with voidfares in need of regular ship repairs and those who are interested in specialized goods. Um, all right, hey, well, let's let's see what you got. Yeah, I, I think that's the. Uh, let's try clicking that again. What do we have here? Oh wait, right, well first of all, let's talk about reputation. We've got some things we can buy, um, but let's see. This is Imperial Navy, huh? Void Necron trophies. I, I don't think I have any of that. Um, and we'll hide the untradeable. Show tradable. I don't have anything they want. <laughs> this is all going to be ship stuff that we're going to get to boost our faction with them. Well, that makes sense. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's perfect, right? So all of our all of our regular uh, space fighting is going to get us that, and we don't have anything there. So what we could, though, however, we could get a Jovian class one drive, uh, thirteen speed braking, low acceleration, and low acceleration braking. Uh, and this is yeah. Well, let's let's grab one of each of these because we can. And then we'll decide, whoops, you received new equipment. Yeah, I know, I'm trying to get some more too. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and reputation we can't do anything about. Let's go ahead back here. All right, so I've got this auger here. Uh, we have a 100. This is a Mark II, a one. Uh, right now we're getting 80% hit chance, 5% crit. This is gonna give us a 90%, so just better. Uh, so we're gonna put that where? Does it go here? Here we go. And then this, um, we have a lathe pattern 2A, and this is a Jovian pattern 1. So that's 11 speed with strong acceleration braking. This gives us 13 with low acceleration braking. So we're going to be faster, but we're not going to be able to change speeds as quickly. 
which I assume means we're going to have to go with a larger um, Uno Momento. You would think me speaking to nobody with camera lights on and stuff would be a hint that we're recording, but apparently not, so we'll close the door. Um, I'm also watching football, and the Bills just got a sack. This is a week and a half ago for you guys, probably, so you already know what happened in Bills Cowboys, but I don't. So this is going to give us probably a narrower range of where we have to end up, right? Whereas we have that minimum we have to do, and then we have a final area that we could end up anywhere. This is going to take away a little bit of that... Um, deal. I, I don't know. Let's live with what we've got for the moment. I mean, in theory, we found it. So in theory, it's better and it is faster. But I think I'd rather have the flexibility at the moment um, to accelerate a break a little more quickly. Let's let's just go with what we've got. So we've upgraded our, our aspects. And that's pretty good. Okay, so that's Drusus's blessing. Let's go up here to uh, footfall, I guess. Is that the only thing we have left? Yeah. Crews up there. All right. Wait for completion of the ship's inspection. Okay. So we have to come here long enough to fix the ship up. And then uh, this will, as we unlock more places um, here on the station, we'll be able to just directly click to things. But for now, we're going to the void dock. Uh, who do we want to take with us? Uh, yeah, I think that's a reasonable group. Uh, we're going to at least temporarily um yeah this is our only option right because the the inquisitor said heinrich said he'd be leaving us here so we'll take who we've got and we'll see how that works for us you know i've got a uh a white border that is no longer the right size i could potentially change that to green huh I mean, it's supposed to be white, but it's it's that's just because that was the name when I created it. Oh, to turn it back on again. Turn me off in case I want to get a screenshot for a thumbnail. As we get a good little cutscene here. All right, what do we got going on? The liege representative. The welcome procession is not particularly long, but it does attract attention. Everyone is dressed in their finest apparel, every button gleaming. Standing in front of the others is a woman with clearly expensive implants. She bows in solemn curtsy. She bows in a solemn curtsy? I would think you would curtsy in a solemn curtsy, and you would bow in a solemn bow, but, you know, whatever. Rogue trader, footfall welcomes you on behalf of the liege, Lord Vlad Vladim Tokara, Allow me to express my joy at your arrival. The liege awaits you at his residence, but should you have other business to conduct in the station, I'll be honored to serve as your guide. Uh, this is so familiar. Behind the amber-colored scatter of words of welcome, far less appealing hues lurk, murky and diluted. The look of someone accustomed to lying and hiding their intentions. Someone's coming, and they're coming for us. Watch out, Lord Captain. Abelard sighs and casually places his hand on his weapon. Um... Idera, who's coming? Judging by the voices, lots of them. Angry. They got teeth, but they aren't sharp. Their strength is their numbers. Pray, what are you talking about? What could you mean by such a cryptic... She doesn't get to say the rest. Boom! In the back! Probably should have shot us instead of them. All right, what do we got? Pascal, um, I'm going to go ahead and put you like, I don't know, how about like right here? That looks like a good spot for you. Um, Abelard, I'm going to uh, put you right here. Um, I'm sorry, A Abner. Uh, Abelard, um, I'll go ahead and put you right there. You will go right here, I suppose. Seems like a good spot to shoot people from. Uh, you can go 
I don't know. How about right there? And you can go Hmm, how about right there? A little bit spread out, but everybody's in cover to start with. Pascal, why don't we uh, start with, uh, I don't know, how about something like like this? Oh, I didn't do as much as I'd hoped, but you know what? It's it's something. What do we got now from him? All right, so we can set a front line. All creatures marks an area with 4x4 four four cells. All allies in the front line gain plus 15% bonus to armor, and all enemies suffer 17% more. So I can go... Ah, uh, okay. So I could say, like, you guys get more armor, you guys get less. And I could do the same thing here. We only have one guy in that one. I'm going to go right there. There we go. Uh, back line. Uh, all allies in the back line gain dodge efficiency, cover defici efficiency, and dodge. And dodge reduction. Okay. Hmm. Is it in relation to where he's standing? It must be. There we go. We'll just give it to her. Give it to Adira. She can get the extra. And this is the rear. Uh, five by two, the rear. All allies gain 50% range damage over penetration critically. Oh, maybe we should have done with her. Sure. There we go. All right, Cassia. Um, you are going to... Those are already set. I'm going to... Give you another... We're going to put that on you real quick. Can we do this? How many of you can we get? Let's pop that. Not bad. All right, Abner. Um, what if you... Hmm. So if I could move you to here, you'd hit both of them. Or, potentially, if I go to here, then I go to charge. Enemy down. Then, I don't think it matters at this point. Um... Then laser, 8 to 10. How much health does he have? 13. How about you? 31, 31. Can we go, will it reach there? No. Um, I could go with that on everybody. Word of the Emperor. Let me kick it on them. I probably could have endured on him, which might have been better, but we'll end our turn. All right, we've got Bloodstained Amelia here. Came forward. Knives out. All right, we got our parry. Let's try to cleave there. I don't know why that doesn't make a lot of sense. There's only one of us there, but whatever. All right, Adira. Um, how about we go ahead and put that on you? I'm not sure what the target means. Um, what do we got? Backline, okay. Psychic body glove, forewarning. Oops. How much stuff does he have on him? Okay. So he's got Air of Authority from Bloodstained Amelia. All right. So he gets a bonus to weapon skill and ballistic. But we've got him exploited. He's in the front line. Uh, so he gets he takes 17% more damage. Uh, for each ally. So he's got one ally probably. 
But he's marked for purge. Deals purge souls deals fifty percent. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, that that'd be for him, not for us, unfortunately. I don't think we have purge soul on this one. Um, we could do something with it. I could do perfect spot. We are in cover. Yeah, it's going to last until we get to where we want to go to. Or until we move. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that. Uh, we could finish you off almost certainly. Let's kill somebody. Kick somebody off the board. Yep, yeah, there we go. Three more come running in. Um, Argenta. I've got you here. What if we switch to this? As the Emperor I act. We hit you with that. Then I step back to here. I'm okay. I'll take the hit. Hmm. I need to move back one more, huh? What if we go here? We can get a lot of dudes, potentially. So let's go ahead. Oh, but if I do that, I'm going to lose my shots. Um, we could give a signal that we're doing that. May mark any enemy as prey. Kills the target marked as prey, they're going to stack a bonus. Six to ten. You've got 29. You've got 40. Hmm. What you do? I'm just going to take the shot. I'm going to shoot that. This is unacceptable. Uh... Well, we hit one guy for five. It wasn't much. We'll pop that. Okay, we could use this now if we wanted. Um, if I were to go... Hmm. So if we pop this... And then, that's ranged area attack. We go for you, say. And now we just take our shots. And hopefully we hit one of these 50% shots. Or not, we just miss them all. Because that's what 50% means. Four misses. All right, yeah, uh, and now I'm going to, where am I going to go? Um, I'm going to drop back to here. And, yeah, there we go. All right, Abelard. Um, what if we do this? Which gives him an extra turn, which doesn't help us. And then we go to this. And then we charge to here. Indeed. Nice. Big hit. And then... It will be done. To dust. All right. Well, we didn't get anything on that, but that's okay. Three more guys come running in. This is what Abelard's job is, though, right? This is this is it. Got a big hit on him. Nice. All right, and they go for Abelard over or Ab Abner over there. Once again, Abner's okay at this. Pascal, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna walk you to here. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with that.
Grenade? That worked out okay. And then I'm going to pop this. Yeah, there we go. That worked. That worked. Yeah, we did okay that turn. Yeah. All right, Cassia. Um, what do we want to do with you? Um, what if we were to go here? You're too far away. How about on Abelard? And then you give Abelard a new turn. And then you smack this guy in the face. And then you charge you. Finish off another one. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and endure. Yeah. And then we're going to take a shot at how about at you? Start getting the snipers working on, on the boss over there. Temporary setback. All right. Now, what is that? Oh, I have a cherub. Oh, we don't. Huh. Okay. Do I want a grenade again? I'll make it happen. It's okay, I'll take that dodge. Well executed. Yep. And then I'm going to endure. We'll see to it personally. And I'll pop this. Word of the Emperor. And only my turn. There we go. Perfect. Oh, he tried a big swing. Didn't work for him, though. Um, Adira, what about... We'll do. Yeah, that worked out okay. Um, one enemy creature within a 36 cell radius. Oh, does it have to do with what weapon you have on you? Maybe? Can I see her? No. Can I see you? No. Huh. Okay, maybe. Ah, uh, what does this do? Uh, chooses an enemy in their line of sight and marks an additional opening. Okay, yeah, we didn't get a, we didn't get a chance to do that this time yet. Um, I don't think there's anything else I really want to do. Argenta, I'll go ahead and move up to here. Rejoice in battle. I'm gonna go ahead and. Tell you that, and then I'm going to go ahead and take a shot here. Why can I not take that shot? Oh, because I'm not holding one. There we go. 49% chance. There we go. May hit it. Nice. Abelard, um, why don't you just charge up here? Oh, we can't quite do that. Okay, that's fine. Why don't we go to here? Then we charge. Shift two. At you there. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit you with this. It will be done. Then I'm going to hit you with this. Well then I'm going to pop this. The stars and we'll hit you again. At your beck and Maybe. It will be done. Eventually. There we go. Amelia goes down. I think that's it. Is that everybody? Oh, no. Do we have one other guy back down here somewhere? We did. Um... And we go to here. That's why we need to get him a uh, a hand cannon of some sort. There we go. Yeah, we got to give him a hand cannon of some sort to go with that. Uh, go with this chain sword. Emperor, protect me. They killed. Killed. Yes, they did. Every time. I warn them, and then they all go, Dear Emperor, our Lord and Savior, how could this have happened? Who could have thought? Gang of puny thugs attacked me. The Emperor's anointed. Rogue traitor Von Valencia. Such a poorly organized attempt in my life can only be seen as a personal affront. Um, do you know who they were? 
was that? An attack right on the dock? Does this kind of thing happen often around here? Uh, shootings, yes. Attacks on nobles, not very often. Unless it's the Anvers. They're vicious. Not a week goes by without them killing and getting somebody. They're wicked heretics. They respect nothing. They follow no rules. All right. Well, I'm going to take that as a personal affront. If you're going to come after me, you better come with something better than that. I would rager that this is not an assassination attempt, but rather a common raid. The half had no idea they would run into you, Lord Captain. Oh, this is Abelard. I'm using the wrong voice. Still, it wouldn't hurt to be on our guard. The great have been known to fall to the pathetic. We can attest to this from our recent experience. Your Lordship, those guys were Anvers. They're a gang. They're the worst. I'm telling you, they're scared of no one, not even Liege Tokara. All right, go let him know. Yes, I'm sorry, Your Lordship. I'll go report to the Liege. They killed her. They killed my lady. Yes, they did. Why can I not loot the lady, though? That's what I really want to know. Oh, I can. There we go. Um, what do we got here? Combat shotgun, chainsword. I don't think I need either of those. Um, flak armor. No, that can all go over here. Uh, the only one that probably has something cool uh, is nobody, as it turns out. Nobody. All right, let's wander around here and see what we can find. What do we got here? All right. Strange moment. The holy book by the altar. The void damn customs guy. He's always on duty. Does he get any time off? Does he ever leave for a piss? Is he a servitor? Guess what? Hanger by the window. Remember to bow to the emperor through the window. Okay, the holy book by the altar. Okay, well, let's, let's grab that for now. My house would be proud of Standard containers, but their frames have been reinforced and their ceiling improved to keep the smell in. Tran they're used to transport contraband. Okay. Come on, click. All right, grab that. Bother. Oh, the servitor looks like is his dad. Or potentially. I, I did it. It's covered in dust. It must have spent a long time on the docks. Always keep your eye on the prize. Wall containers of rust and its contents rotted away. A situation not uncommon for shipments trying to pass through Imperial customers. Rank 5 functionary Alangar Quisitorius. Okay. Let's uh, keep walking around. Oh, we got some uh, goods here somewhere. Let's go grab those. I'm writing to inform you that two days ago, the discharge was interrupted by a raid launched by the Anvers gang. The attack, three loader servitors were put out of commission. Furthermore, one cargo container, serial number FDA1, was stolen uh, along with its contents. Okay. Ragman, who are you? Hmm. All right, there's a code there. One, three, four, five are our options. Shotgun and some ammo. Okay. Oh, there's a body back over here. All right, nothing I need there. Oh, goods over here. What does this one say? We need no rules or leaders. We are not an organization. We are a force of nature. Okay. Opticon. The tall hunch tech priest stares at you unblinkingly. A breathing mask conceals his gaunt features. The skin on his hands is of sickly gray hue, while his augments show signs of combat damage and are plated in black chromium, giving him a air, general air of lugubriousness. Lugabrisness? Lugabrushness? Uh, initiating identification procedure. This unit is defined as Logis Octagon 22 and is a fully authorized representative slash structural part of the Cognizance fleet and of the priesthood of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Access has been granted to the following options. Information exchange, strengthening of diplomatic links, trade deals, donations. 
initiating official greeting procedure for esteemed high value guests, uh, visitors, glory, success to House Von Valencius. Binaric uh, aria begins to flow from the scratch vox attached to the tech priest cheese, uh, chest, requesting information exchange regarding contractual obligation, Logistostar Theta. Uh, Pascal and Opticon 22 exchange glances and a short series of binaric signals before bowing their heads in satisfaction. Opticon 22's head bows noticeably lower than Pascal's. All right, what is Logistar Theta? Under contractual obligation in question, 34.761 Terran cycles ago, Exploratory Cognizance Fleet received from the representatives authorized unit of the Von Valencia Dynasty a volume of high grade Promethium equal to the fuel capacity of six Tampsalon Void tankers. Received it and then didn't pay. Compensate, remunerate, settle accounts. Should I go on, or is that enough? Not enough synonyms. The stipulated payment reciprocal offering from the Cognizance Fleet can be made to Von Valencia's assets at the current time, after which the contractual obligation will be fulfilled, archived. Confirm your status regarding acceptance. Um. Yeah, I'm willing to accept it. All right, request is accepted. Sacred. We probably could have got some extra faction from them if we didn't. Um, the sacred machines will be loaded onto hold your vessel. Uh, contractual obligation on Logistar Theta is concluded. Cognizant Fleet thanks House Von Valencius for its cooperation. So we got two mobile extractums. So we can use these when we land, uh, when we scan planets. If there's resources there, uh, we can use these to extract the materials. Um, let's start with this. Uh, let's see what they want. We've got we've got a little bit of faction. Do we have anything else they like? Show tradable, hide untradable. Um, Holy Gifts. Ah, we got some Holy Gifts. Let's go for that. Any more? All right. I'll trade that. Um, they like Heretic Trophies as well. Did we see any of those in there? Um, I didn't remember seeing any, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh, don't see any of those. All right, let's take a look, see if there's anything we really need to go up a level for. Um, yeah, see, we don't even have the, the faction to get most of the stuff we want. Or we don't have the profit factor, excuse me. So, we could get... Um, well, we might as well get these. No, we'll take all those. You never know when we're going to need those. Uh, a stim. 4 MP, 4 AP. For the next turn, their MP and AP are reduced. Ah, so we're going to get essentially... We're taking a we're taking a hit for a, for a two two point hit lat next turn we get a four point this turn so maybe you're trying to finish somebody off and you need a little bit extra um, that's not too bad deflection gloves it's an injury or falls unconscious their allies gain plus one bonus to damage hmm. Oh, those gloves of endurance. Uh, allow, the, allow the wearer to parry melee attacks with their ranged weapon skill using ballistic skill instead of weapon skill. Okay, so maybe somebody like... Um, like Argenta, potentially, could use those. And we'll grab this. I don't know if we'll use it or not, but we'll grab it. Um, and then we get some machine right sets. Yeah, may as well grab those. All right. Let's, uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's take a look at Argenta. Does she have gloves? Um, she does not. Uh, her ballistic skill is 55, so that's better. So that would be, that would be useful for her. Um, if I can find those gloves. Here they are. Let's drag those on. So now her, now her parry will go up quite a bit. Fifty. Yep. Yeah, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, all right. Uh, other thing is, I wanted to give you a pistol to go with that. Um, we could give you the negotiator pistol. Um, it gives him a little bit of persuasion, which isn't super special on him. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It inflicts melting. Hmm. Okay. Or... Ah, there is no other or. <laughs> Blast wave is a two-hander. Yeah. So we can put that there. There we go. Uh, that's a range of nine. It's a range of two. Hmm. 
Um, no, I think I'm okay with that. And we had this. Did we want to do... I was thinking about Adira getting this. So she's got this one right now, the Psychic Staff. That gives her that Lightning Arc ability, which is pretty badass. But I don't use it that often. I mean, I guess we could have that last fight. That would have been a good one for it. Um, it does get her more willpower. Um, this one gives us Vision of Death, though, right? Um, grants uh, Vision of Death ability. That just tells us what ability is. Um, so, what is Vision of Death? Let's give it a go. We can always change our mind. We can always change our mind. We'll see what it does, and we'll call it a day there. Uh, and I think, oh, let me grab, oh, those are goods I've already read. We'll finish our exploration of this space next time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you. Don't forget, the Emperor protects. Cheers.